Almost every furry mammal shakes their body when they get wet. We've only recently discovered how effective this actually is. I did interview one of the guys who actually was a part of the study, uh, Andrew Dickerson from Georgia Tech, and he looked at 16 different species of furry mammal, from small mice all the way up to bears, and found they all shake at different frequencies depending on their size to maximise the amount of water actually coming off their fur. So we're going to put a few classic animals to the test and find out what frequency they shake at. So this adorable thing is an African pygmy hedgehog. So what we're hoping to do today is get them a little bit wet in a shower. Is that going to be alright for them? Water doesn't hurt anybody and a bit of a, a cleanse in between those quills is always going to be a good thing. Right, well I think we should just give it a go. <laughs> There's no water hardly coming off. What's going on? Hedgehogs are really good temperature regulators just by increasing their oxygen uptake, by breathing heavier and getting their metabolism up. So maybe it's just normally drying off through that way. It's not used to having to shake so much. Now we have our next contestant, the rat. This is Coco, because the hedgehog wasn't that impressive, if we're honest. It was a bit of a letdown. So I'm hoping Coco is going to shine for us. Yay! Let's have a look at that. It's a, a really lot efficient. better than the hedgehog. Yeah. <laughs> God, it's such a sort of simple action, but in slow-mo, it just looks incredible. You realise what's going on. I mean, I didn't even see that happen. Exactly. Well, because it's one of these smaller mammals, it's got to spin a bit faster to generate the same kind of forces to get the water off its fur. Who's up next, then? I think we've got to go for the classic. Canine. Canine. I mean, if you take this dog, for example, they shake about four or five times a second, getting rid of 70% of the water on their body in just four seconds.
I mean, that's why dogs are the king of the shakes. That is amazing. He, he does like he goes a whole 180, doesn't he? This is partly why they've got such great loose skin. Is that when they shake, they really get a lot of speed on that fur, and so the amount of force they're generating to get the water off their fur and get them dry is actually really high. What about people? People are actually really bad shakers. They can only do about two hertz, only two shakes a second. No, that's not very good. It's not very good. But so I, I think he's thrown down the gauntlet. I reckon you can do better. a second. I'm afraid, I'm not sure you've surpassed the... Uh... I'm not very good at shaking it seems. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think as mammal shakes go, dogs are kind of winning. We really hope you've enjoyed today's edition of Slow Mo, the wet mammal shakedown. So please feel free to check out any of our other videos on Earth Unplugged and subscribe. And if you can think of anything else that would do a better shake, let us know in the comments below. Cat versus dog. We're going to see which one's a better drinker. The cat was the cat interesting. Pulled water through the air. Yeah, but the cat, the cat was, you know, delicate. The dog was raw and just drawing in all that water.